With its factory tuning and data center DNA, an Intel 730 series SSD is an amazing choice for gamers and performance enthusiasts. All right guys, so as you know, streaming can be hard due to stuff like system overhead, and you're not only playing a demanding game, but you're encoding it and streaming it, and that's probably not all. You're probably playing music programs, voice chat programs, and if you're like me, you have a browser with at least a bucket worth of tabs open. This can be hard on your processor. Enter OBS with QuickSync. Using QuickSync instead of X264 will allow you to move your encoding processing off of your processor and onto your iGPU, which is actually still part of your processor. But when you're normally streaming, if you have a graphics card, it'll use your processor and your graphics card, and your iGPU just sits there doing a whole lot of nothing. Being able to utilize this part of your processor is gonna take some stress off the rest of your processor and allow it to do other things. Performance-wise, it's actually pretty good, but you're gonna have to remember that this is called quick sync, not like looks amazingly beautiful sync. It's not gonna look quite as good on the other end of the stream, but it will be easier for you to run. So maybe if you're pushing some really hard to run game and doing a bunch of other things at the time, and it's gonna chug on the other end, if you run quick sync, if it looks better because it's not lagging, that's gonna be a big benefit, but the actual picture quality probably won't be as good as something like X264. The requirements aren't too bad. You're gonna need an Intel CPU, which should have probably been pretty self-explanatory. You should probably update your drivers and your BIOS as well, and you're gonna need OBS, as that's the software that you have to run. To check to make sure that your processor is compatible with QuickSync, you can just Google the name of your processor, so say 2600K, go to the arc.intel.com link, and then do a Control F for Quick. It'll jump right to it and it'll say yes or no in a blue highlighted box right beside it. Pretty straightforward. At least on ASUS motherboards, how you'll set it up in the BIOS level is to press F7 to go into Advanced BIOS, then go over to Advanced, jump into Graphics Configuration, go down to CPU Graphics Multi-Monitor, and change that to enabled. That's all you'll need, so after doing that, just press F10, enter, and you're good to go. Once you're done setting up your BIOS, you're gonna jump into your computer, right-click on your desktop, and click on screen resolution. Then, all you have to do is click detect, and find the display that is powered by your iGPU, it'll say Intel graphics, whatever number. Tell it to try to connect on VGA anyways. Uh, apply that setting before you can actually do anything else. Jump back to your main monitor, and tell it to extend these displays instead of just showing on desktop one. After that, click Keep Changes and you'll be good to go. Doing that last step is very important. If you haven't done that last step properly, OBS will allow you to select Quick Sync, but it won't actually work and will just spit out an error. So to select Quick Sync properly, just go into OBS and then go into Settings, go to Encoding, and then change the radio button from X264 over to Quick Sync. As long as you're not streaming at the time of changing this, it'll work perfectly fine. The next time you start streaming, it'll be streaming through Quick Sync. All right guys, I think this whole setup is pretty cool. I like QuickSync. My biggest problem with QuickSync is that it's not in enough stuff. Hate me as much as you will, but I'm an exploit guy, not necessarily an OBS guy. So I'm not necessarily gonna be able to take advantage of this. Comment in the section down below whether you like exploit or OBS. And while you're down there, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe and dislike this video if you disliked it and also subscribe because whatever, we'll make one that you like later. If you want to get a little bit more of a high-end discussion, be sure to jump over on the forum. You guys can talk there. If you don't like the ads that you see on the forum, you can become a contributor. At any contributor level, you get rid of all the ads. So don't worry too much about that. That'll just be entirely fine. And if you want a shirt that is not this one, and no, this is not an NVIDIA shirt. Every single time I wear this, I get comments on that. You can jump to our t-shirts link down in the description below. We've got some pretty cool stuff there, and hopefully some cool stuff coming later on. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.